So this is the Scottsdale rough, deep rough that we have over here. Uh, full toe shot, you know, a shot with a full toe wedge. Um, this really varies in your lie and where the pin position is, right? It, it really depends. If uh, you need to make your roll, you need to make it stop as quick as possible. Let's, uh, let's do it the short sided one. You need to hit a shot that needs to stop pretty quickly. You know, you don't want to get too far away from the pin, obviously. The difference between this shot, the flop shot, and the bunker shot is not that different. You need to act in a way where you're del delivering the club with speed and using the bounce properly to minimize the effect, right? In this case, uh, it will be very similar setup. It's a wide stance, weights forward, balls forward, and you're just trying to drive this thing right underneath the ball so it pops up and lands as soft as possible. You gotta forget about spin. You're not gonna create any spin, right? If I was going to the back pin, it would be a lot closer, a square face, trying to make your roll, right? In this case, it's almost basically a bad life flop shot. You're trying to get it underneath and make the bounce, have the bounce do the work. The beauty about this though, when you have some thick rough and the ball is levitating basically between the top and the bottom and you have a full face of grooves, sometimes you will hit it high on the toe. And you know, you have a brand new wedge like this one you will be able to get some shots that the dispersion will be a lot smaller just because it will react very similar to when you hit in the center of the face. Obviously not the same, but it will be very, very similar.